there's a lot of different constructs that affect what we do and why we do them, um, a lot of which are unconscious. So who's doing it around us? How, uh, who's supporting us if we do it? So you can imagine if I wanted to start running tomorrow and the people, my friends don't run and my partner doesn't run and my one and a half year old son runs a lot but not with strategy. <laughs> um, that's that's going to be very different than if I have two friends that are already training for a half marathon and, you know, like, you, so what is your environment like socially? Um, and so for workplace, that has a lot to do with what's supported in the workplace, what do you see other people doing, um, what do you th see your leaders doing. Uh, there's things that do you believe it's good? Most people are there with the health behaviors. They'll be like, yeah, I know there's health benefits, but then can you, can you also attach something that's more immediate? Um, so stress is such a big one. So if you talk about physical activity or mindfulness, there's such an immediate stress response from that that is calming and, and that's what they want. So, okay, let's talk about that very, very specific and immediate uh, benefit. Do they enjoy it? This doesn't sound like rocket science, but it is the most predominant construct is that if you don't like it, you're not going to do it. Again, not rocket science, but can we make so for example, a great example is, I do not enjoy running. I do it, I do not like it. I would never go downstairs, to shut off the lights, go on a treadmill and run. There's not a chance, it actually feels like stress. So what around it do I like? I like music, I like being outside, I like running with friends. I, so what are, can I, how can I trick myself <laughs> um, into liking the behavior that I want, that I desire? And then do you think that, I, or do you have control over it? So a great example is a workplace where they have very little breaks that don't get to decide when they are um, and they really want to train for a half marathon. Well, that's going to feel really impossible. So if you go into anything feeling like there's just no bloody way I can do this, of course it's not going to happen. So planning has to go into that. But the biggest thing is, and if somebody was to take one nugget from what I said, it's deciding there's no longer a decision. So what I mean by that is I'm like, I want to go running. Um, I want to run this half marathon, so I'm going to run three days a week, and I have a whole running plan laid out. And then I have to, if I have to make the conscious choice whether or not I'm running every day, I give myself an opportunity to say, no, I'm not running today. So if you take that decision completely out and it becomes a non-decision, I am running today, period. That's where the behavior change happens. So these things all support it, but that idea that you make it automatic, it is who I am, it's part of my identity, I am a runner, I run three times a week. Not I run three times a week when it's plus five, I run three times a week when it's not <laughs> rainy, like there's no other things that you have around that, it is just who I am and it's what I do.